All right, Hero Comics here. Thanks for the, uh, if you're going to talk about stuff, just talk about the legend of Frosty the Snowman. Okay, this basically was a video. Anyway, I think probably straight to DVD or something type of video that uh, definitely harkens back to the original tr trilogy, I'd say, or whatever, of the Frosty, of the old Frosty movies. And here's the deal with me. The old Frosty movies uh, definitely see, are timeless to me because I, I got to find out when those came out because... Yeah, um, you look at them today, <laughs> looking at some of those things today, I would not guess. They'll probably be um, wrong when I, uh, when I guess how old they are, okay? All of all three of them, okay? There was, like, the original with Karen, <laughs> you know, girl in the uh, coat, <laughs> girl in the red coat, and the magician dude. There was the second one, which was uh, done in more Charlie Brown style, <laughs> Charlie Brown style, uh... With the summer wheeze and all that, then there was a third one that was more like the original, where Frosty got his uh, wife and kids, and uh, had a Frosty part. It was like a uh, Frosty Parson, you know, got him. Yeah, that was definitely um. Uh, those three were de are definitely from a while back, uh, but they are timeless. This one could be timeless in its own way, but definitely has a little it's, it's trying to harken back to him but it's definitely it's a little weird it's a little it's a little strange it there's some fun moments there's really good moments and, and okay i like the i like the voice cast especially the one the, the voice of uh the the uh, the boy the blonde boy here you know i think she did uh the voice of phil lil and their mom and regrets you know two others like that i think you know uh Either the girl, maybe the girl, you know, you know, yeah, of course, you know, you have the very interesting arc with the uh, little, little uh, brother over here, <laughs> one of Steve Urkel's relatives, <laughs> yeah, uh, that is interesting, uh, there is an issue, you know, basically the eight issue with me, it have to be, that. It, it definitely, it's, it's style is different, okay, you have the style of the, the first and third one, you have the style of the second one, and there they go. Then you have the style of you know, the Reagan Bass ones. Mm, that's different. And then you have the style of this one. This one, I think, tries to be a little bit like mm, kind of all of them. <laughs> this definitely is different still. Mm. Because you have certain characters. There was a character, the, I think the librarian, mm, in this one. Mm. And she looked like the teacher from the second one. Mm. You know, and of course, you see the cover here. Frosty himself looks sort of like Frosty does in the first and third cartoon animated one. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you know. So it, it's definitely it's an interesting blend of the styles. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very. It, I do like the story. Mm -hmm. I do like the story a lot because basically, it is a classic Frosty type story. You have a place that needs basically. To lighten up, you have a place in this town that needs to lighten up. You have to go. You have a, a mayor who is a basically good guy, but he has too many rules. Um, wishing is forbidden. Mm -hmm. Wishing <laughs> that is weird. Mm -hmm. This isn't like Burger Meister Meister Burger or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You know, though that was crazy. But though this is like you know, for the good, the great, greater good, or the thing is like Ned Flanders, but not as not not like evil Ned Flanders. Mm -hmm. You know. It's 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 a bit more like Ned Flanders give him a bit of power and then he basically becomes like the dad the the blonde uh, boy's dad who's the mayor and so it's like okay you know he can, you know have all the rules you know follow the rules and it's all good everything's great you know it's just like uh yeah there's some issues with these rules uh girl this is spoiler field review as well girl got issues with her mom who's like yeah yo, okay here's the deal you uh dress up exactly like i do i'm gonna tell you your hair is exactly like mine i'm like huh someone's living vicariously isn't aren't they <laughs> you know uh little little brother representing over here looking like steve urkel's relatives oh the steve relatives he has some issues going on he basically he's very smart he's definitely the brains of the outfit but he unfortunately also is um very um i'd say sheltered by his parents and 
because of that, he's always very worrisome and very clumsy. And then, you know, they say Frosty, voiced by, uh, I think, someone who you know, voices like Patrick from uh, SpongeBob or something. I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm like, see, hearing that, I'm like, I hear some Patrick in there. Mm, it's not like here. It was just, it's definitely different. Because mm, like a few people voice Frosty. I don't remember who voiced him at first. Mm, I don't remember who voiced him at first. But it was like John Goodman voiced him uh, in um, the second one. Mm, the Summer Wee's one. Mm, you know? Then there was, uh, I don't know, but this one is definitely different. Mm. And that's a little weird, but I can live with it because it's like, yeah, that happens. Mm. You know? So, but then there's another problem. You have, the, uh, try, they try to tie it to the original in a little bit of a way mm, that thankfully is not mm, what I thought it was at first. Because mm. what I thought it was at first was... That they were the the, the 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 parents were the kids from the first one, you know, you know. But mm, thankfully, that's not the case, you know, because they're like they're totally different. The, the parents are totally different than the kids from the first one, you know. But their they their parents are there. There's some there at least one parent who was around during the first one, you know. Is yeah, who's uh, had a relative who was around during the first one as well, and then something happened, some crazy stuff happened, and it was just like okay, it's weird. Yeah, the, the lore is a bit interesting because basically you have the hat, the hat basically can fly around by itself, <laughs> you know, and there's a magical comic as you can see right there. There's a magical comic there, you know, you know, it's it's, it's, it's a bit uh, interesting how things go. Because there's one part where I'm like, someone is chasing after the hat outside. And yet somehow magical stuff is happening with the hat or something is happening in the library where the blonde boy is. So it's a little bit of a weird continuity thing. I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. wasn't that thing outside being chased by somebody? <laughs> you know, yeah. who knows? But oh, well. Oh, what? Oh, well. You know, and it is like, yeah, there's an arc. With a little, little Urkel related kid, and it's like, oh, so, you know, you, you can kind of understand why he's doing what he's doing, but it's still really sad and really rough because it's like, no, kid, don't be like that, man. Oh, no, you know, you know, main bad guy comes in and it causes issues, and just like, oh, crap, you know, uh, it was good, it was pretty fun, it was good, but my opinion definitely had issues, it was really weird. At first, and kind of stays that way in some ways. <laughs> but yeah, things are interesting. The lesson, though, was should have been worked on a little bit. I liked the lesson of you know basically sometimes you know you gotta work on you know what your, your rules. You gotta you work with the kids, the parents, and the, the children have to work together to figure out what's going on with the rules. You know, that's great. But there were some issues though. You know, I think it would have been better if he had said, "Yeah, let's if the, the adults." At the end, mm. the dad had actually been saying, yeah, let's, we need to work on these rules. <laughs> you know, mm. we need to work on this. Maybe I went too far. <laughs> you know, that would be nice to see mm. more of mm. than what was there. Mm. You know, though it was still, you know, you can kind of, kind of imply that he is, you know, basically saying that or expressing that emo the feeling. Mm. Um, but still, yeah, I would like to see more of it on screen. Bert Riddles did a good job. Mm. You know, he, he's a good narrator. Mm. I think it's the third one, mm. third or fourth. I don't know. Because he had like a. I don't know. Who narrated? Mm. I don't remember who narrated the first one. Mm. Or the second one. <laughs> or the third one. <laughs> Well, Rick and Bass, but I don't remember exactly, but yeah, they, they were they were pretty good, and they yeah, did a pretty good job as a narrator, I'd say. That was very nice. It was very nice. Um, yeah, overall, it is a fun one. You know, I think you can see it on YouTube. I think, I think. Yeah, I got to check on that, but yeah, I think you can. Yeah, that, in my opinion, it is. These are all good. Yeah, all the Frosties are good ones to just watch. Mm, just, just marathon those. Mm, you know, mm, just marathon them, or uh, you know, if you want to mix them up a bit, go first Frosty, Charlie Brown, second Frosty Garfield, something you know, something like that. You know, just just mix them all together. This can you know, work in there too. Mm, you know, as as a pretty good one. In my opinion, not the best one. Mm, you know, but not the worst. Mm, 
thing I've ever seen. Mm, okay. There is some stuff out there that unfortunately is pretty rough. Mm, and that, that sucks. But this one's good. This one's pretty good overall. You know, it's overall best and the worst. <laughs> Do best and the worst. <laughs> yeah, best and the worst. Best thing about Frosty, you know, the Legend of Frosty Snowman, is that yeah, it was fun. it had its, it did have its own identity. Mm, you know, it did eventually get its own identity. Worst thing is, uh, I would like more emphasis on the, the a good lesson. Um, the animation is okay. The art style is okay. You know, it's, it's definitely it 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 definitely was uh. As you definitely you could see you could definitely say oh yeah this is straight to DVD right here you can see instantly see you'd be like oh yeah this is this is a, a TV one <laughs> this is not this is a <laughs> you know <laughs> you know the quality is a little <laughs> you know lower than say a uh, uh, more feature <laughs> length <laughs> whatever but yeah still it's still really good it's still really good so yeah so you guys next time check me out on YouTube and DeviantArt I'm gonna go and work on some more stuff see you next time.